In this tutorial, we'll be installing the VirtualBox and setting up the necessary environment to get started with our Pyramid development. So I'll go ahead and execute my VirtualBox. I'll create a new virtual machine. I'll select a linear distribution, Ubuntu 64-bit. And the name I would be taking is basically, let's say I'll type Ubuntu hyphen pyramid. I'll click next. I'll supply it with let's say a 2048. That's basically a 2 gigabyte of RAM. It should be more than sufficient for now. It will go ahead and create a virtual hard disk. So I can go ahead and click on create. I'll click on a VMDK image. And over here I'll go ahead and click next. I'll go, I can go ahead and actually specify where to go ahead and store the whole thing. So I'll just go ahead and store the whole thing over here. That's basically onto my vbox folder with the name of ubuntu hyphen pyramid and open save i'll click create and perfect so i'll go ahead and go to the settings part over here you can supply for the amount of cpus that it could be using and so on so i'll just go ahead and click on two cpus to make it a bit faster Enable PAENX virtualization enabled. Make it 32 MB to make it a bit faster. Enable 3D acceleration. And perfect, we won't be needing any sound, so I'll go ahead and remove that to make it less on resources. I'll go ahead and virtual adapter over here. And I'll go ahead and remove the NAT for now for a temporary basis so that we don't need any internet connection to install the whole thing. USB devices, we can go ahead and disable this in case you want. Shared folders, obviously I'll go ahead and specify shared drive in case we need to get any resources from the external environment. So I'll go ahead and supply this shared folder. Auto mount and OK, OK and perfect. And make sure you have installed the VMware tools once you go ahead and install Ubuntu distribution. I'll, I'll just go ahead and rename the whole thing to Ubuntu instead of Ubuntu. Perfect. Uh, yeah, also I have to go ahead and specify the ISO path as well. So I believe I'll have to go over here and I'll select the virtual image over here. VMs, image files and the full-fledged distribution that is basically the GUI. I'll click on start. So once this gets started, we'll go ahead and quickly install the Ubuntu virtual box over here and then we'll be installing the required tools. So over here I'll select English and I'll click on install Ubuntu mate. So this should get installed within uh, 10 to 5, 5 to 10 minutes probably depending upon the speed of your Linux distribution. This will be a GUI interface unlike the minimal distribution which we saw previously. So once this gets started, I uh, will go to quickly install it. Okay. So I'll just click on continue. Then to mate, or probably I'll have to go ahead and specify a larger disk space, I believe. So I'll go ahead and power off this. I'll probably need I'll specify a 15 gigabyte of storage. I'll remove this and yes, hit add create a new disk VMDK. I'll just go back and specify the size. Yep, it automatically took a size, so I'll just specify 15 and I'll specify where to go and store the whole files VM VBox. Ubuntu Pyramid, save, ok, create, and it's a VDI file, never mind, I'll quickly go and start it. English, install Ubuntu Mate, we'll wait till the system gets started. So now once this has been done, click on continue. I will not select that because we won't be requiring any GUI interface. Just click on install. You can also go ahead and specify logical partitions in case you require swap and so on. By default, this will be taking 2 GB of swap in case you have not specified it. I'll select the country 
and the keyboard layout i'll specify the name so i'm going to specify the name as computer name as let's say the username will be master and this will be pyramid and over here i'll specify the password as master you can go ahead and specify anything that you would require continue so this should go ahead and get quickly installed once this is installed we'll go ahead and set up our pyramid works environment so I fast forwarded the video a bit so that we can see the whole thing getting installed so it's almost about to get installed right now once it's about to get installed it will actually go and ask you to install whether you want to install the bootloader that is basically club we would obviously want the bootloader since we are running in ms dots environment we would be requiring it to go ahead and launch it in a normal manner until unless you are not using windows you can obviously go ahead and select or customize your own grub that's basically the main bootloader for the linux distribution so when installation is complete we will quickly restart the system and we will obviously have to go ahead and install a few things once it gets started that is basically the g++ the gcc uh, virtual environment tools python's pip so that we can actually install the whole thing in a virtual environment the thing about virtual environment within um, so don't get confused with the virtual environment and the virtual box they are basically somewhat kind of same because virtual environment runs within an operating system in its own environment so in case you have two projects and you require two different versions of a specific module in python you won't be required to go ahead and i would say actually install the both the versions on your main distribution because it can actually go ahead and corrupt the whole operating system so what we would be doing we would be installing two different virtual environments and we would be installing the required modules in, within those environments so that they won't clash with each other so looks like my system is getting started so once it starts we'll go ahead and download the necessary installation so i'll just quickly go over here and open up a notepad and write down things that we would be installing so it's basically we would need to go ahead and compile the kernel headers first to make it work so yes our environment has started over here so i'll just go back and do it over here itself so once it's started we will first be installing the build essential the gcc g++ uh, python environments and pip obviously we will first need to go ahead and do an apt get update so this is how the whole GUI environment looks like. So I'll just go and right click and open up terminal over here. I'll go ahead and specify a NAT adapter and I'll specify NAT so that it gets connected to the internet. And I'll go and type sudo hyphen sh my password service networking. Yeah, I believe my network has started. So I'll just go ahead and type apt get update and sudo obviously. So it will go ahead and quickly get updates from the internet. And yes, I think that connected my main disconnected my main network. So I'll connect it and disconnect the other one. So once it takes the update, uh, they will have a lot of security updates. So you will probably have to do a apt get hyphen distribution upgrade and uh, if not then we can go and directly get started with the required things so once it gets started i'll quickly go ahead and start up with the pip thing now this may take a small amount of time to check all the necessary updates that were received after the release of this specific iso version so the update is over next thing is basically i'll go ahead and type sudo apt hyphen get installed build essential gcc g plus plus w get curl and i believe it was python well type python hyphen n i believe environment should be there or let's say python hyphen pip yep python pip is there so i'll just go ahead and install the necessary things and Okay, so it basically takes a total of 75 MB to install the required things, the wheel and all those things.